Hi guys, aloha and welcome yet again to another episode of Review Life TV. It's going to be something a bit different. It's going to be a DIY video only because the uh, battery went out. So the story is I uh, hopped in the car like so. I have to hop in the car right now so this way I can just show you the story. Alright, so I hopped in like this. I uh, pressed the brakes and held the start button. So then I discovered the battery needs to be swapped out. So to support or justify the reason for swapping out the battery, I decided to do a test. Now, if you want to find out the voltage of your battery, it's ideal to have one of these voltmeters. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, test it out right now. Ideally, you want to have anywhere between 12.5 to 13.7 volts of uh, power. In order. All right, guys, so I have my voltmeter here. I'm going to set it to volts. And it's going to be uh, DC, so I'm going to make sure I set it to DC function. All right, All right so now I'm going to put the negative lead to the negative lead. And test it out. Try to do this while having the camera in hand. And it turns out the reading is if you could focus 8.42. So, like I said, ideally you want to have a voltage between 12.5 and 13.7 according to a Google search. So that means we're gonna to have to swap out the battery. And the tools you're gonna to need to swap out the battery are a uh, ratchet set, and you're also going to need a uh, flathead screwdriver so that you can remove uh, all the uh, panels. All right, so I got my trusty flathead, and I'm gonna use it to remove all these different uh, push pins. There is about one, two, three, four push pins, oh, five. So five push pins all together, five, cinco, all together. And we're gonna remove those. This way we can get to the battery, which needs to be removed. All right, so I'm gonna uh, walk you all through the process real quick right now. And once you all remove the push pins, Removing the panel is a cinch. Right, so I'm going to show you right now. It's so easy. Lift like so. And the only other thing is you're going to see the uh, things connected. The, um, the rubber piece. Uh, those, you just have to be really careful to lift those off. You could easily attach those later. You just have to uh, Push it like side to side, this way you don't rip the rubber. Yeah, because you don't want to mess up the uh, the insulation uh, for the engine. So, all right, so I'm doing this one-handed. So this way I can guide y'all the proper way with how to remove the panel. All right, so we're good to go there. All right, and just push it somewhere to the, place it somewhere to the side, like so. All right, guys, now we have arrived to the fun part where you actually have to use the ratchet set to remove the battery because you have a bolt there, you have a bolt there, and also you have a bolt for the positive terminal. Like I said, the ratchet set is a must, and lucky for me, I have one right here. And the size you're going to want to use is the known and loved 10 millimeter. Right there, 10 millimeter. So of course you have to attach the piece, the 10 millimeter, to the ratchet, like so. Make sure it's set to counterclockwise, because like the saying goes, righty tidy, lefty loosey. So like I said, 
Righty tighty, lefty loosey. You're going to be removing the bolts, so you want to make sure it's set to where uh, it's going counterclockwise. So we're going to be going that way. If you try to go clockwise, you'll hear that sound. Okay, so just make sure it's set to where it's going counterclockwise. And I'm going to get started with the bolts for the positive and negative terminal first. Okay, so first the negative terminal. Should be real easy to unbolt. Okay, negative is out. All right, now we got to do the positive terminal also. Like so. Yeah, just uh, loosen it enough so that you can remove it. Like so. And just want to be careful, make sure you don't break off that piece there because it's nice to have it covered. Uh, I like to have the cover only because it just means maintains the uh, the factory appearance of it. That makes sense. I just want to make sure it looks good. And now uh, you just have to remove the, uh, the holder of the battery, like so, which is also something which requires a 10 millimeter uh, socket. Thank goodness. All right, and you can just uh, remove it uh, the rest by hand, like so. Or you can just continue to use the ratchet set. All right, so pretty straightforward. So I'm just gonna skip to the next uh, portion of the DIY. Pretty straightforward, right? All right, guys, so here's the tricky part now. As you can see, there are two bolts holding in the uh, battery using the, uh, the bracket. Now, there are two bolts, but I'm just going to remove one bolt just to make life easier. And then there is a hook on the tip, so you just have to twist it so it's just so you can remove that post. Okay? And then the uh, battery uh, bracket, you could just um, push it to the side or you could just pick it up like so <laughs> and then put it somewhere safe so this way you don't lose that hook. I just go and put it right there. Now uh, that we got the terminals out, that box is kind of in the way so we gotta remove that real quick. Alright, so to remove that, there is a hook or a, a clip rather. I don't know if you guys can see it when I try to put the light on. See how there is like a hook right there? Hold on, I'm gonna try to get the light on it so this way you guys can see it. Ah, kind of tough. Alright, so you can see from here. Hold on. There you go. If I could focus real quick, focus, focus, focus. There you go. All right, so right there, you're gonna see there is a tab which you need to lift using the flathead. Got the flathead right here. So I'm gonna use it to uh, kind of unclip this piece. So this way you can remove the battery, okay? Well, so there it is. I'm going to lift the tab. I'm gonna lift this up. So you have to push it in a little, just so we can get that, uh, get it to release. There we go. It's coming out. There we go. Also, it will help to remove this one too, which also has one of those release tabs, which you have to push in using the flathead, flathead screwdriver. So let's get to it. I gotta push it in real quick. And that thing should lift. Like so it should be easy. There we go. Ooh. Alright. 
so you have more space and then you should be able to slide the battery out real quick it's kind of it's fairly thin so i'm just going to go ahead and remove it like so but i believe i may have to lift this up real quick and you're going to use your flathead to remove that bolt right there this way you can lift that piece up a bit in order to get the battery out okay so let's go ahead and do this real quick easy peasy one two three all right now should be able to get the battery out because that's gonna have a bit of leeway and i'm doing this with one hand just so could record this for y'all all right so all right so i got the battery this right there all right guys, so now that the battery's out, I'm gonna bring it to the auto zone. Gotta get in the zone. Anyways, you wanna bring the uh, previous battery because they uh, do uh, do something called a core charge where when you exchange it, they'll give you a slight discount on the new one. All right, so let's go to, uh, let's hop to it. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the auto zone. Got the battery in hand. I'm gonna place it right there. Alright, uh, and you don't want to place it on the seat because the battery does have acid and you don't want to, you know, burn a hole through your seat. So putting it on the floor is the best thing to do, safest thing to do. So, alright, so that's it. Let's head out to AutoZone. Alright guys, so we have arrived at the promised land. We have arrived at the AutoZone. Hi guys. I'm not going to bore you with me swapping out the battery, so I'm just going to hop in real quick. I'll be right back. Alright guys, just got me a fresh battery. Got me a Duralast Gold, only because it's 500 crank amps, which is more than uh, most of the batteries available. Alright, and back to the crib we go. Alright guys, so welcome back. We have arrived at the crib. Now, preparation is everything, like the saying goes. Now got battery insulation kit which is the lubricant you put around the battery terminal to prevent from corrosion happening also got the pads you have the red and green green you can use either one for a positive or negative terminal whichever one you like all right y'all so i'm going to put the pads on the terminals to protect it There and there. And I got the grease. Yeah. I'm going to lubricate each of the terminals so this way you can avoid the corrosion. Like so. Good to go. And um, once you lubricate enough, then you're set to put it back in the car. Alright guys, so I'm ready to put the battery back in. Now there's one more push pin I need to remove, which is right there. I'm going to try to focus on it. Yeah, right there. So this way, this way you can lift this piece up in order to put the battery back in right there to that tight space. So let's go ahead and remove that push pin right now. If we can get to it. Right there. Easy peasy. Uh, There with the other pieces. And um, this way you can lift it up more. You'll have more leeway to lift up the piece to put the battery back in. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that battery real quick. Right there, positive terminal is going to be on the right side, and negative terminal is going to be on the left side. So let's go ahead and place it back like so. I'm gonna try this. Try doing this while uh, holding the camera too. Alright, so you can slightly lift that there. Then I'm going to try to find an angle so this way you guys can see me in action putting the battery back in. Alright, so you just noticed the red piece, which is the cover for the positive terminal, came off. It's intact. You can um, pop it out real quick so this way you don't break it. Just put it somewhere to the side. All right, so now that I found a place to secure the camera, I'm going to use both hands. This way I can place the battery back in. 
Again, you're going to want to lift this portion and it's going to slip the battery back in. And so battery's back in and you just have to make sure it fits into the tray. Uh, there is a tray underneath there. I'm going to show you how it looks like. All right, so underneath the battery there is a white tray. You want to make sure the battery fits in there uh, comfortably and it, you got to make sure it's on the inside the tray so this way the battery doesn't hop all over the place. So if I'm going to try to zoom in on it and focus. Uh, doesn't look like focus is, well actually there we go. Alright so that's the tray right there. I already uh, made sure the battery is sitting on the inside of the tray so this way you can make it more secure. All right, now the battery's in place, you want to add your uh, bracket, which is used to, the battery bracket, which is used to hold it in place. Uh, one side, uh, there is a hook, and there is a place on the side where it does hook into, uh, which I showed you earlier in the video. second all right so there it is there's the hook right there you should be able to see it the hole right there right there so you have to make sure that the hook right there goes into it so I'm gonna do that for you right now you gotta make sure it hooks into it uh, that way so make sure the hook is facing out uh, so I apologize, I won't be able to really show you how to get into there, but uh, you'll have to just use the angles real quick, and if you have a flashlight, you can uh, easily hook it, uh, and the way you can go about it is just lifting the latch, uh, well, the, um, the panel, rather, so this way you can get into there. And you may need to adjust it, so... So that uh, everything will fit. So you can lift the uh, panel and then once the battery is in place it should uh, fit properly. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to of course make sure the bracket for the battery is secure on the other side so you want to reconnect the other side of it right here. And there is a hook where to hook it into. Let's see if I can find it for y'all. It's right over there. It's behind the bracket. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's right there. So I'm going to show you how to do it right now. shine on it. Alright y'all, so I'm going to place the hook in there. And once it's connected, that's when you'll need to put in the, uh, the bracket hole, which is kind of tricky to do when you're filming. <laughs> so I'm going to do it for you right now. There you go, got a better angle for the shot, so all right, so I hooked it. Uh, let me show you how again how I do it. And then I'm gonna put the bracket on it so that's why I can secure the battery in place because you don't want it to be flopping all over the place when you're moving. And just simply bolt it back on. Uh, as securely as possible, this way the battery will be intact. All right, you want to make sure both sides are bolted on securely. So this way, uh, like I said, the battery you want to make sure it is uh, stable and won't be bouncing everywhere. Uh, 
you want to use your ratchet set, make sure it's set to righty tighty. So if you turn it clockwise and it doesn't make a sound, that means you have it set properly. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten these bolts so we can make sure the battery is secure. Alright, looks secure to me. Feels secure. Alright guys, so now that the battery is secure, you want to go ahead and reconnect those two uh, pieces. Uh, these two uh, back onto the clips, so this way uh, they can be secured too. Now uh, these should slip on uh, into those uh, place holders. So that's one. And they'll clip, you'll hear the sound click if it's secure in place. And the other one, I want you to slip in place too, real easy. Just gotta put it in place and that's it. Those are secure now. Alright guys, I'm gonna start putting the push pins back in place to secure this piece right here. So as I remember there was one right there. So now you have to give it a little push for it to be lined up properly. Alright, so that's about to be in. Right. One secure. And remember there's one more right there, so I'm gonna secure that one too. Real quick. Alright, so that one's secure. Now we gotta take care of this rubber piece that had those those uh pins that were in the panel. So these I'm going to remove one at a time. I'll show you how I do it right now. Alright, so these will come out easily. Uh, there is a spot where you have to actually push, push them, these tabs in, in order to remove them. Yeah, so you have to push those tabs in to remove each one. I'm going to remove each one right now so that uh, I'll be able to attach it to the rubber piece and then therefore attach it to this piece. All right, so it's very easy to remove. You just use your fingernails if you have any. <laughs> okay, good to go. And right, now I'm going to place He's back in the hole. Each of these have a spot where they can be placed in, so I'm gonna place each one individually. So that's one, two, three, and four. All right, so once the panel is secure, feel free to reconnect the battery terminals. Get the negative going quick. All right, so that one, and you get the positive also. Securely. Alright, righty tighty lift Lucy. So let's go and work on this one. And now we gotta work on the positive terminal. Gotta make sure it's nice and secure.
All right, and uh, this piece just uh, clips back on like so. All right, so we're good to go there. All right, and once everything's bolted in place, we can put the main panel back on, which is this piece. So we're going to might just slip it in there, make sure it's all lined up properly. And now it's a matter of just putting the five push pins back in place where they belong. All right, one at a time. All right, this one too. There you go, locked in. Now we also got to do the rubber piece. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clip those in real quick. It's easy, they just pushed in and they lock in place. Like so. All right, so we're just about good to go. Gonna get the cover, put it back in. Make sure it goes into the ports and then just lock it in place like so. Now that the new battery is in, let's go and start up the car. Oh, someone's blinging. All right, so it's a good sign that the lights are on. All right, guys, moment of truth. Moment of truth. All right, here we go. Push start button there. Got the remote with me. The key fob. Push. Woo. And we got power. Oh, you all. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial of how to uh, swap out the battery of a Nissan GTR. I'll uh, be sharing more videos, but if you like this video, go ahead and feel free to hit like, and also feel free to hit subscribe. Appreciate the support, much love, and aloha.